Hi, Mitch Glazer from Crawdaddy Magazine. We're in Kabul, Afghanistan with legendary rock manager Richie Lands. Magic. Right. Magic. Right. Along comes Richie Lands. Richie has done things for me that I could never, ever remember. That cool bandana look. I stole it. He discovered Madonna. Donnie Elaine Beckerman, Gross Point, Michigan. I gave her the name Madonna. He saved Woodstock. Some of them have been without food, water, or, or any decent drugs for days. He convinced Slash to try on a top hat. And he looked at me like, like he was going to hit me. He put rock on the charts. Then... Well, he is a nut. He fell off the map. Richie changed my life. Actually, he ruined my life. He's a maniac. He's also a genius. Well, I'm not going to deny that. No. This is the story of Richie Lands, the man and the music. In 2015, Lands resurfaced after more than 20 years away. I'd gone to Afghanistan to uh, do something for our troops. Rock's greatest manager was back on the road. This is a death trip. The 85 Bangles tour was a death trip. And back in the game. I'm famous for... Oh, these, right here. His eye for talent sharp as ever. Kenny Loggins, you still playing? His golden ears pressed to the ground in search of music's next game changer. It was quintessential lads. Jimi Hendrix played the Star Spangled Banner because I asked him to. Crazy, audacious, unexpected. You know, rock and roll certainly has been very, very good to me. The final chapter of Lanz's legendary career waits to be written. If you're really looking for something that is pure and sacred, you will converge with other uh, pure and sacred people. That's that's pretty much the message that people take away? Or no, I just, that just came just, into my head. Richie Lanz, the man and the music. Smoke on the water, fire in the night sky. Thank you. Thank you very much. And don't miss Richie Lands in Rock the Casbah in theaters October 23rd.